Hi everyone and welcome back to Arctic RC. It's been a long time since I did a review and I'm sharing one with you right now. Uh, after getting this P51 Mustang from Phoenix, uh, I had my first experience with air retracts. Uh, that didn't work out too well because I had no experience uh, from before. So. I had major leaks, especially with the quick connectors from the wing to uh, the fuselage so that when I disconnected the wing I could just twist and turn these uh, quick connectors. Uh, mainly the problem I guess was using wrong tubes because these connectors, they were from Robart and this air tract, uh, this air retract system is uh, not robot, so uh, the size on the tubes and so on were quite different. But then I came over a site on the internet. Uh, this one is located in Norway, but you are freely you can freely write a mail or if there are anything there of interest. Uh, the store uh, mainly uh, sells scale RC airplanes and scale equipment. Uh, the name of this store is Eureka RC and they can provide you with a lot of cool and sweet stuff. Uh, <clears throat> I was wondering about getting electric retracts for this model. Uh, then again I had to buy the whole stuff. But then someone told me that I could buy just the cylinder, an electric cylinder is instead of air cylinder. So I contacted uh, Eureka RC and I got these, uh, I will say, pretty new uh, on the market uh, electric cylinders. These are called uh, LADU, uh, electric retracts. And the only thing you have to do is replace the air cylinder in your main retract with this one. They also come with a program card so that you can program uh, how fast the wheel should go in uh, or out. Uh, mainly when the wheel goes out the gravity takes a hand and the wheels will go out at the same but when they are going up you can program them so that they go one of the wheels go up a bit slower. And now I did a major mistake because I don't have this card so I put the, the motor that Eureka RC program for me, I put that one in the tail section but that doesn't matter because I'm going to buy one of these program cards so I can reprogram it. But anyway, no more air retracts. This one goes from the power supply of your uh, airplane. I'm using the 9110 power box system from Spectrum so I have two LiPos connected to this box and one will take over when the other one gets empty for, uh, for power. But I never, and I mean never, ever had any problems because every time I charge my batteries there's plenty of uh, power on them left and that's because I'm not flying more than four or five minutes at a time. I'm more of a landing and takeoff guy so uh, that's why I guess I have more power. Uh, I used these retracts in uh, Rinibu when I was there but I had a problem because one of the wheels fell off and the fork, uh, uh, the wheel fork uh, hit the asphalt and bent. Um, we managed to bend it back again, uh, sort of okay. And uh, then I had a flyby and I was going to land but I had noticed that I had a bit too much speed, so I was going to take the plane up again, so I gave full throttle, but then it suddenly nosedived a bit. So I went with both retracts down in the ground and both bend. So this um, retract system from Phoenix, it's not that good. You can replace them, of course, but um, I got a new set of retracts. Um, and also a new plane, so I have I have double of everything in case there's a crash. <laughs> uh, 
and you never know. And I put the uh, Lodo electric retrax conversion in this one. And as you can see, it's quite easy. They're a bit noisy, but you can't hear this in the air when you have the 55 cubic engine roaring in the air. So, quite simple. And there, <laughs> the behind is done. Okay, what's good is that when it when it's too much tension, the engine will stop, but it works that much that it will place the retract in lock on fully retracted and not retracted. So you won't have any wheels hanging and banging. The other thing is that if something comes in the way, let's say there's some binding problem, it will stop and you won't burn the motor. Uh, there are two uh, sets of a lot of retrax systems. One is for this type scale model and the other one is for larger. So be sure to tell how large your plane is before you order so you can get the right ones. Uh, as you can see this one is in lock and there's hardly no movement at all. Beautiful and I'm getting this one ready now because we have sort of an official opening of our new airfield tomorrow and I'm very excited. I'm going to fly this one on gravel for the first time. Uh, we only have a sort of artificial turf for the smaller airplanes. We're going to buy artificial turf to put on all our airfield. It's 80 meters long and it's about 9 and 10 meters wide. So we will have a very cool airfield in one year or so. But we have done a lot in just these two weeks. Anyway, back to the retracks. Let's put them back again. And the one behind is a bit slower. <laughs> okay, this is the review I wanted to share with you guys. I'm going to give you a closer look at the uh, uh, Lado retract just so you can see how it looks. Okay, here you can see the air system or the air cylinder is replaced with this Lado electric retract system. And here you can see how it's mounted. That little pin there is the only th modification you need to do. So okay, I don't have the wells in uh, this um, area right now because these are the old wing. They got some beating uh, during Ringebu and I have sort of fix them, you can see there. Um, the coating is bad but it's quite okay now and everything is good to go. So tomorrow at uh, an official opening of the airfield I will fly this baby.